Portable gaming has been around for years. PSP was the first real portable gaming console and I was lucky enough to own one. But it had its own set of problems, from the limited availability of titles to those analog sticks constantly getting damaged. It didn't sit well with a lot of users for so long. Then came the era of consoles. Nowadays, everyone has either an Xbox Series X or a PlayStation 5, myself included. But the problem is, you can't take them with you, you can't play on the go. So I was really excited when I heard the arrival of handheld gaming PCs. This is the ASUS ROG Ally X, the second generation product from ASUS which we have already reviewed on the show. And this is the Lenovo Legion Go, the first generation handheld gaming PC from Lenovo. Both of these cost 90,000 rupees and they aim to reshape the gaming world. Can they do so? Let's find out. Now in terms of the looks, both of these devices are of course very very similar. There's a big display in the middle, there's joysticks on either side of it with RGB lighting around them, there's console styled keypad and the buttons. But the added advantage with Lenovo is you also get a trackpad on one side which you don't get on the ASUS. Now despite Lenovo looking obviously much bigger than the ASUS ROG Ally X, I still felt that ASUS was actually more comfortable to use and Lenovo actually feels a little cramped because there's so many buttons out here. But now of course let's talk about the big difference that is the display. Lenovo of course being the much bigger and 8.8 inch IPS LCD panel with 144Hz refresh rate and a quad HD panel. Asus ROG Ally X on the other hand is a 7 inch IPS LCD panel with only 120Hz refresh rate and an FHD plus panel. So of course, in terms of gaming, the display on the Lenovo is much better and games, the overall output felt much more better on the Lenovo Legion Go. But now, let's talk about the performance. Both of these devices, the Lenovo Legion Go and the ROG Ally X, run the exact same AMD Ryzen Z1 Extreme chipset for the CPU and RDNA 3 graphics chipset, which means performance is similar on both of them. You cannot fault either of them. In my time playing games on both of these devices, I did not feel any lag on either of these two. Now I played GTA 5 on both of these consoles and I felt that the ASUS ROG Ally X ran slightly more cooler than the Lenovo Legion Go, which means it has much better thermal performance. And despite having the same chipset, the same CPU, the same GPU, ASUS actually performed better, at least it felt like it. But like I said, no performance glitches, no lags, no delays on either of these two gaming consoles. Now so far both of these seem really good to have right but one big problem with both of these handheld gaming PCs is the battery life. They just do not last you that long. In terms of the battery capacity, the ASUS ROG Ally X eclipses the capacity of the Lenovo Legion Go with almost twice the size but even that is not enough for these portable gaming devices. They are just not as convenient as you would want them to be. You'll still be carrying your USB-C charging cable everywhere you go. Okay, Lenovo is clearly losing the battery battle. But one thing I would like to point out and give props to Lenovo for doing is including this carry case inside the box. The ROG Ally X does not have one included, but the Lenovo Legion Go does. And the good thing about this carrying case is this little flap out here which means even when your device is kept inside the case you can still charge it very very easily without having to risk taking it out. And not having a carrying case with the ROG Ally X means traveling with it can be slightly more cumbersome and you might be at risk of damaging the joysticks. Oh and did I mention that the Lenovo Legion Go can also be used as an FPS controller because both of these grips on either of your hands are detachable and can be used while playing FPS shooters like Call of Duty. Now both of these are very very capable gaming handheld PCs. While the ROG Ally X might be slightly more comfortable to use during long hours of gaming, the Lenovo Legion Go has a much better and bigger display. But for 90,000 rupees, these are very difficult to recommend to the end consumer. Especially because for that kind of money, you can get a traditional gaming laptop which can do all of these things and much more. And also for almost half of this money, you can even buy a proper gaming console which can give you a much better gaming experience. 
Now, Asus and Lenovo are at the top of their games, especially in the gaming market, which means I fully expect them to improve and deliver a much better user experience for these handheld gaming PCs.